Irish Knitter. Today I'm coming to the daily reading update. Uh, it is the 17th, yes, the 17th of September. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, so Tuesday is usually a good day that Garrett comes down. He said he might not come today, he might come tomorrow and Friday instead, because usually it's Tuesday, Thursday, so that's fine. Whatever makes him happy, whatever's easiest for him. Um, so yeah, that'll be good. Um, Yesterday was a pretty quietly boring day. I sat in the atrium for a lot of the day, doing some knitting, doing some listening to audiobooks. Um, and yeah, so I also will include a clip at the end of this of my current knitting. So the only thing I'm working on is those pair of socks. And I was a lot further along and I was doing a different pattern and I made a huge mistake in them. I think I dropped like two stitches somewhere else, somewhere down towards like the beginning of the sock and I messed up on the pattern quite a bit and I was like really disappointed so I tore them out and I let them sit and think about what they did wrong. <laughs> And then I cast them back on again the other day, and now I am doing just a basic Hermione's Everyday Sock, which is a very, very easy pattern. It's still a pattern, so it gives you something to think about, but it's not like a cable pattern like I was doing before for the other pair of socks. They'll also hold up a bit better uh, long-term wear, at least that's my opinion when it comes to stuff like that. So like I said, I'll include a video at the end of this, just showing you guys my progress with my little progress marker. And then I'll try and remember every Saturday to show you guys my socks so you can see how far I'm getting along on them. Because I'm getting quite a bit of work done on them when I'm sitting downstairs. Um, so I might need some more sock yarn. That's <laughs> basically what I'm saying. Sorry for the noise. I have no idea what that is. Um, this is a hospital. There is construction. So, um, yeah, reading update. Because um, I think that's all that I actually had to tell you. So reading update. So I did finish Campers and Criminals. I finished Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglaries yesterday, which is the first in the Campers and Criminals. I gave it four stars. This is like my third reread through it. It's, I really like the series, but let's be real. The book is like a four star. It's, it's nothing like blowing you out of the water, but it is absolutely delightful. Um, I will do a review as soon as I'm done filming this, and I will post that this afternoon. Um, and I continued on with Happy Medium by... Um, uh, Sarah Adler um, and just to let you guys know that I said like she she thinks this medium talking to spirits is a load of BS and she's basically conning people for lack of a better word but there is an actual ghost in this story so for those of you who don't like the woo-woo paranormal you might not like this one so much but I'm it's, it's hilarious it's hilarious the ghost has an affinity for watching like old 90s TV and he keeps using that as references. <laughs> so my Gen X heart is just loving this. <laughs> Talking about Ally McBeal and The Office and Law and Order and you know all the things so it's really fun. I'm really really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it on audio to be completely honest. Um, who knew that I would fall back for audio you know. Um, I guess it ju just took the right um, way like of sitting downstairs and you know taking time for me it's it's you know and doing something else while listening which is which was great and being antisocial took me to be antisocial by sitting in the corner by myself <laughs> so i also started another coziest day i started murder at the beacon bake shop by darcy hannah which is the first in the beacon bake shop series and I started this on audio. I'm only two chapters in. It takes place in Upper Michigan, and it starts in the middle of winter. And this attorney, not she's not an attorney, an investment banker of some, she moves, uh, decides to follow her dream after splitting with her ex, and moving to this small town and buying a lighthouse and wants to open a bakery. And that's where we're at so far. And the bakery she bought, or the lighthouse she bought, sight unseen, like only internet pictures and. Uh, it was renovated all right back in the 1970s so a little bit of work is to be done and she's a little annoyed at that and yeah so so far again i am enjoying it i'm listening to that one on audio as well um what else what else what else can i tell you guys oh and i'm i did finish yesterday as well goodbye stacy goodbye by anna martin which is the 13th book in the babysitters club and I gave that one four and a half stars. It's a sad one when Stacy leaves the club and I'm already looking forward to when she makes her return. So spoiler alert for those of you who never read the BSC, but you can pretty much tell if you look forward at the titles, Stacy does come back from New York. I mean, she's she is a 
pivotal one of the original four members they weren't going to write her out of the series completely so anyway guys that's it for my rambling i'll show you guys my knitting in the next clip and until my next video everybody take care and happy reading thank you all so much for watching bye guys